Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Southwood County Recreation Center. I'm Paul Kennedy, your announcer for this evening. You're along with Mr. Jeff Conklin doing color commentary tonight. Mr. Matt Fillmore running the technician board as always. Mr. Mar Mark Phil uh, Mr. Mark Lochner running the camera. And uh, all of us under the guidance of producer Artnick Gepsick, we're proud to bring you the matchup tonight between the Wisconsin Rapid River Kings and the Steel County Blades here on Wisconsin Rapids Community Media and Hockey TV. Should be a great matchup tonight, Jeff. What do you think? Uh, yeah, Paul, it's... The last weekend of the regular season, two games left, and they mean something. We can find out who's going to win first, second, and third place after this weekend. If the River Kings win out, they win both games, they'll, manic, they'll win the top of the division. They'll be number one. But they got the Moose right on their heels, along with the Hudson Havoc. So you can't ask for anything else. A whole season that's coming down to the final weekend. Should be pretty exciting. Wisconsin Rapids uh, starts their lineup tonight with Kyle McNair in net, Nathan Bottles, Jacob Yakus, Luke Harchie, Cole Krieger, and Jordan Steer. For the Steel County Blades, they have number 30, Young in net, number 26, Brock Wallace, number 10, Jordan Stordahl, number 20, Noah Murphy, number uh, 16, Charlie Smith, their leading scorer, and Jacob Kalen, number 12, starting out tonight. And we're off and running here. River Kings cross the blue line now. Shot just wide of the net there. Harkey had a quick, good quick early wrister there. Battles in the corner now. Nathan Bottles in there working hard. Back behind the net. Picked up here by Steele County. No backhand out at the center. Right? That's where Jordan Steele picked that up. Launched that back into the visiting team end. Puck right back around the boards now. Back to Jordan Steele at center ice. He didn't have to travel far to pick up his own rebound there. So... And the River Kings dumped that back in. Quick line change now with just 30 seconds going in the first in the first period. Archie in there taking on two of the Steel County Blade players there as he works in the corner. Back behind the net now. Picked up by number 10 for Steel County, Jacob Stordahl. Steel County moves that up into the River Kings end. Picked up here by Grant Newcomer. Newcomer hassled there by the defense, but he'll bring it into the zone. Back out across the blue line now. River Kings will have to retreat to get back on sides. Still off sides now. And now they clear the zone. So as guess he was a little bit off sides there. Jordan Steer will collect that puck and look to move that up. Oh, that's Cerulean, sorry. Mm -hmm. Only caught the zero on the jersey. Into the far corner now. Picked up here by Steele County. Number nine for them, Noah Yurton moves that up to center ice. Back to Skaggs. Skaggs will collect that for now for Wisconsin Rapids. So really it's on the move. Off the boards now. Along the near boards in front of the visiting team's bench. Steel County, good pace to this game so far. Radke with a nice check there. Cerulean's backhands that back behind the net gets that to Newcomer. He'll move it up and out of the River Kings end. Good quick pace so far, Jeff. What do you think? Yeah, the River Kings are moving their feet. They're right on the on Steel County as soon as they get the puck. Steel County is going to be a kind of formidable opponent tonight here. They're uh, 23, a little bit above 500. So yeah, they won their last two games. I think by uh, four, a total of 14 to two goals or something. So here's Willard looking to make a shot towards the net there. A little bit high up in the netting. We'll get our we'll get a whistle here with 17:36 remaining in the first period. So. Yeah, it's a uh, good challenge for the River Kings here as they head into the last weekend of the regular season. So, Yeah, the only thing that we know for certain next week is the uh, that the uh, Blue Ox are going to be playing the Steel County Blades for the four, four and five are going to be playing. So everything else is too bad. Kind of there's a Max goal. Moore scores. Max Moore with the wrister coming off his first career hat trick last weekend. He capitalizes there with a beautiful wrister from the faceoff circle. So they've done that before. They uh, get the get the draw back to him. Max just comes across and yeah, he snipes that upper left hand corner. Yeah, looks good. Looks uh, very similar to one he scored last weekend. So let's see if we can do this again here. Kyle Smith lined up to take the faceoff. Got Max Moore on the right, working with with number 19, Reese McDonald. Now he's got the puck and he'll. Send that into the Blades' blue into the Blades' defensive zone. 
Picked up here by number 16, Charlie Smith. We get, that's, his, that's their sniper. We got to watch out for him. So Max Moore with a goal. Smith on the assist. River Kings, great shot percentage. Two shots, one goal. That'd be nice all night. 50% shooting percentage would be coming in handy. There's Jeff Redman. Working out there with Rydell. Picked up here by number 20, Noah Murphy. Into the River Kings end now, into the corner. River Kings a little sloppy on the breakout pass there, but they get away with it now. It's Brzezicki, nice kick, kick save there. Kicks that out to uh, his teammate. Puck coming the other way now. Picked up once again by Redman. Sends that in around the boards, into the near corner. Picked up by number five, Gavin Ellis. He'll send that back around to the other side. Redman holds that puck in the zone. We start to get a pile up of hockey players in the corner there along the far half boards, right in front of the hometown crowd tonight. We got a good crowd here. Should be an exciting evening for him. River King's already off to an early move here. Redman with the check. River King start to create a personal line change here as Hartgee comes on the ice. Good battle along the far boards. Into the corner now, back behind the net. Picked up there by number 21 for, the, for Steel County, Evan Axel. Blades will move that up. Kyle McNair, watch that one float harmlessly by to his right. Picked up here by number 15 for the River Kings. Breakout pass here. Hartje dumped, but no call. Looks like he's offsides. They're going to have to recollect the puck here at center ice. Along the far boards now. Radke back. Nice hip check there. Leads to a little bit of a turnover out in front. The River Kings get away with that. Going to need to tighten up a little bit defensively here. It's a couple of uh, questionable plays in their own end so far, don't you think, Jeff? Yeah, at least they kept it to the outside. Uh, if you're going to miss, it's a better to miss to the outside because they don't have that lane coming up. If you're going to break out the center and you miss, that could turn around to be a quick shot and goal, a quick goal. You Usually know, never so. works out for you. I know, no. So. Well, let's see how this next faceoff works out. As that'll be taken to the left of Kyle McNair over in the far faceoff circle. River Kings are skating from our left tonight to right tonight, wearing the home white jerseys. Steel County in the black and orange jerseys, skating from our right to left. River Kings win that draw. Look to move that up. Yeah, Paul, it's little things like that you want to keep seeing this weekend. Going into the playoffs, you want to win those faceoffs. Feet in front. Oh! oh. Nice. Cole Krieger just missed on that one there. Good opportunity. He got a good feed there from Nathan Bottles. Uh, that probably won't be the last time we say that tonight. They're crashing the net now. Big crowd in front. But Steel County collapses down on them and takes away that opportunity there. 14.57 remaining. Yeah, you're right, Jeff. It's, uh, you know, when you start to look at, at some of the, the plays that the players on the ice are making, you know, it's make good, simple plays, you know. Some good examples of that are, uh, yeah, Yaku, Steer, right, Jordan, uh, you know, very good about moving the puck out safely. Joe Blair, again, you know, we've talked about his consistency this year as far as making good sound plays. Just want to keep, uh, keep that puck out of your end as much as possible here. Luke yeah, Hartke. think about... Oh, Hartje takes a big check there from number 28 for the Steel County Blades, Andre Storger. I'm sure that Hartje will remember that number as we get ready to put that puck on net. Backhand just wide there. A little bit of a save from the goaltender, Young. He'll kick that out. Cole Krieger dumped into the boards. He's up. He's okay. As the puck comes around here in front of us in the broadcast booth, Nathan Bottles trying to hold that into Steel County end. Puck comes out in front. Brought across now by number 21, Evan Axel. Kyle McNair, hand in the air. He's got himself to sing. And that with a little icing. Hey, speaking of icing, I uh, would like to thank the Cerullius family for their uh, generous gift of the Sanders Bumpy Chocolate Cake. Yeah, all the way from Detroit City. From so. Detroit. Yeah. So we welcome them to the ring tonight, and uh, thank you again for that for that uh, that chocolate cake. We'll enjoy that during the break. So. Right now, we'll enjoy the River Kings holding the puck in the zone. Turned over here, picked up by number 18 for, for Steel County. Luke Shrigan and Jordan. Welcome to 2711 16th Street South. Jordan Steer with putting the hurt on somebody. All right. Willard with the backhand pass here. Out in front. Shot, save, rebound. Skaggs has it now. Shot, deflected into the corner. Puck sent out to the red line now. 
Whistle blown. Looks like there's going to be a call for too many men on the ice. I believe. I, I think so. Either that or number six is getting sat down, but somebody in a dark jersey is going to be disappointed. Yeah, I think the, the, he was getting off and the puck came over here and he, the puck hit the guy trying to get on or off the ice. So. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you're speeding, you're speeding. The cop doesn't care. Huh? At least baseball, baseball, you can always say the sun got in my eyes, you know. Yeah. So Brady Nance, number seven, will sit for the Steel County Blades for too many men on the ice. McNair out to collect that. Tease that up for Jordan Steer. Like to see him go end to end. And he's sure trying as he crosses the red line, crosses the blue line. Puck comes back out to center ice. His defensive partner, Yakus, picks that up. We're going to set up the power play here. Zagresby. Tries to go through the defender. Good job there by the defenseman holding him up. That was number 20 for, for Steele County. Zagreski has it right back, though. He'll cross the center ice logo, chip that into the opposing end, and now sent right back out where Jordan Steer collects it. He'll try to make the pass. That's deflected. Steele County doing a good job getting their sticks into play. Jordan's got it now at the far blue line. Across the Skaggs. Oh, and just missed on there. Zagreski, that one-timer opportunity just missed on his stick. Yeah, nice puck movement there, Paul. Yeah, nice crisp passing. Jordan gets that up to Willard now. Turnover here, picked up by the, by the Steel County Blades, number 12, Jacob Kalin, one of their starters tonight. Good job defensively there. Surly knocks him off the puck, and River Kings will control that. That's what you want in your defensive zone, Jeff, huh? Yeah, you want to control it, break out cleanly. Hard to score when you're getting knocked on your hockey pants. Zagreski with it now. Out to Skaggs. Skaggs over to Surlis. Up to Skaggs again. Zagreski looking for the shot. Gets it in front. Newcomer couldn't tip that in. Big rebounds coming out. Yeah. Nice pass there to set it back up. Skaggs is looking for a shot opportunity. Can't get it. Decides to dish that out to Cole Krieger. Shot just wide there. Into the corner along the boards now. Newcomer setting that up. Gets it to Skaggs. Skaggs is over. Penalty second, almost over. Penalty is over. And penalty is over. Both teams are back to full strength. Shot in on goal. Young will cover that up. We'll take a break with 10 shots on goal for the River Kings so far with 11.34 remaining in the first period. No shots on goal for the visitors so far. Yeah, the Blades did a nice job of killing off that penalty. They have a, their penalty kill is, is not too bad. It's at 81.7 coming into it percent here, so they, they do that well, but... Yeah, there's some teams in the NHL who would definitely be envious of that. All right, here comes Hartje. Nice center pass there, gets it to Cole Krieger. Krieger just couldn't find the, couldn't find the net on that one there. Young was in mm. good position. Comes out to the point, sent right back in. Shot up into the netting. And we'll get ready for another faceoff. Would have hit the tuba player if the band was here. I missed the band. Yeah. A old time hockey up there, you know? Yeah, it's, it's been a different season with the, well, we're, for all sports with this COVID. Yeah, we're great. We've had the opportunity to enjoy this season. So the rink and the team have both done a great job implementing some good policies and making sure folks can come out and enjoy this, enjoy themselves at the rink, so. And this line that's out there right now for us is a very special line. You got the, the five and the six scorers in the whole league. With yeah. Bigger and Hartje at 74 points, at 73 points respectively, so. Yeah, Brady Nance trying to do a little scoring himself here as he gets a shot in there on Kyle McNair. McNair denies that chance here. Here comes Max Moore, your goal scorer. Looking to add to that total, so. Radke dumps that, back out the center ice. McDonald's got it now. Nice job by McDonald avoiding that check there. It's number 28, had him lined Ooh, up. Oh, it's going to be a penalty call. And he didn't avoid the second one, though, but hand is in the air, and River Kings will get a second power play opportunity, it looks like. 
And it's number 28. Andres Thorger. Andres has been kind of throwing his weight around out there already. He got hardy <laughs> earlier. He's, got he's some going size after Reese McDonald. You know, Steel County has nothing to lose here this weekend. They, you know, they'd love nothing more than to you knock off the number one team, be a spoiler, going into the playoffs next week. So they can play pretty loose. They already know where they're going. Let's see what happens here. Yakus has it. Gets that over to Jordan Steer. Back to Yakus. Shot across there. So that was Gretzky. Big shot, big rebound again, Jeff. Out to Willard now. Jordan's got it at the, at the blue line. Holding, holding. Feeds that across to Zagreski. Shot mm -hmm. just a bit wide. Comes to Jordan Steer, though. He'll set up Yakuz at the blue line. Shot in towards the net. Wow, big rebound there. Lots of traffic in front. That's what you want during these power play situations. Trying to take away the goalie's eyes. And there's a puck that Mark Lochner almost could have caught on the cameraman. <laughs> All right, so 125 remaining in the penalty. River Kings have 13 shots. Steel County's been credited with one. Let's see if we can't get this power play going. Oh yeah. Came in the game at 42%. So. Nice. Willard takes a draw. Got a newcomer on the right wing. Jordan Steer right here at the near point. He'll collect that puck for us. Tries to send that in. Shot high. Saved there by Young as a rebound dropped down in front of him. He covered it up with the glove. Getting a little hassle in there from uh, from Willard. Yeah. yeah, we're barely, Paul, what, a little over 10 minutes into the period. He already has 14 shots on goal for the River Kings. Yeah, maybe they're paying him by the shot, you know? It could be. All right, let's see if Willard can win the draw here. He'll take that face off against number uh, 25, Connor Lee. And River Kings will prevail now. Jordan has it. Cross ice pass. Nice job there. Ooh. Oh, good chance. Just missed on that one. Back behind the net, Zagreski picks it up in the far corner. Back to the point. Now back to Zagreski. Down along the far corner now. Willard dancing back behind the net. Gets that across to Yakus. Yakus back to Willard. Out in front. Oh, nice tip there. Newcomer just couldn't bury it. Puck pop up in the air. Over to the near point here. Yakus looking for a shot. Oh, rising Ooh. shot there. Actually hit his own player. A little friendly fire there. And Steel County will clear that puck with 35 seconds remaining in the penalty. McNair. McNair looking a little Ron Hextall like there, huh? Getting ready to take a shot. That'd be kind of fun. Yes. In either case, River Kings will bring that up. Cole Krieger's got that. Out to the blue line now to Skaggs. Skaggs will just play that off the boards. Get that to Hartje. Back to Skaggs at the blue line now. Shot saved there by Young with the glove. 12 seconds remaining in the penalty. We'll get ready for a faceoff here. Nice shot there. You got it through there and it was low. And goalie just have to get the glove hand on it. But most of the time that's going to hit the pad, bounce out, get a rebound. And yeah, he was tracking that pretty good. Krieger in to take the draw. Rising shot there, puck loose. Ooh. Oh, Young got a little bit lucky there. And they killed off another River Kings power play. Power play is over. Yeah. Here comes Harchie. Sends that in towards the net. A little bit wide, took kind of a weird bounce though. Young's not gonna take any chances. He'll put the glove on that. We'll get ready for a face-off with 7.50 remaining in the first period. 18 shots already. Yeah, it might be a Polito's Pizza Night. What do you, what do you think, It could be a Polito's Pizza Night. Matt Fillmore is shaking his head. Mm -hmm. Which I believe is code for you get nothing. <laughs> uh, we got cake, though. Uh, we did get cake. All right. Shot in here. A little bit wider than that. Rydell had had that one on the rise. Yes. Yeah, he needs a little break here, so he's just going to slow it down. And <laughs> There's no commercial breaks in the USPHL. <laughs> All 
All right, Redmond to take the draw here for the River Kings. It's a five-player pile up at the faceoff circle, and Steele County comes away with it now, looking to make a move here. Is number tw number twelve, Jakob Kalen gets that to number twenty-six. Shot saved there by McNair. Nice. Watches that pop up over the shoulder. Nice job of hugging that post there, locking it down. Yeah, there's not a lot of room when he's in net. Uh, that's a big guy, you know? Yeah, that's all right. And speaking of maybe not a big guy, but a guy with a big heart, there's Redmond back there battling to get the puck. He'll have it now. In the near corner. Comes out now, Max Moore in pursuit. Trying to cause a little job-related stress to Brock Wallace, and he does. Steel County able to bring that out, but they're not able to do much with that as that'll be icing. So, what do we got? Uh, what time's the game tomorrow night, Jeff? We come back tomorrow night again at 7 o'clock, and it's law enforcement night. The Pub Pilots in the Wood Tavern League. Safe ride. We appreciate them coming in tomorrow night and helping sponsor the River Kings. So get ready for another face-off here as that puck was shot well up into the netting. Kyle Smith in to take the draw now. He's got Max Moore working with him. Max Moore trying to make that same shot he made earlier and get, hopefully get the same results here. Instead, he'll uh, take his player out against the boards here. Young will collect that puck back behind the net, tee it up for his defense, and Max Moore will check yet another player. So that's two out of five out there he's hit so far. Let's see how many more he gets on this shift. He likes to play the physical game as well. River King's on a move now. No need to hustle, though. Puck was shot in past the red line, which means we'll come back to the Steel County Blades end for a faceoff. I think uh, Max Moore might be a part-time reader for the uh, Chamber of Commerce. So, yeah. Welcome to Wisconsin Rapids. I've, I've seen him greet a lot of people here. <laughs> All talk, right. Talk about the water park. Park. And here's Willard. Willard into the corner, taking two of the Steel County players in there with him on the battle to get that puck. Everybody wants the vulcanized rubber disc. Yakus will come in now. Kyle McNair's not taking any chances. Those Steel County blades were moving in there towards the net. He said, uh, you know, Mr. Lee, I think I'll just put the glove on this and we'll just take our time with a face off here. With 6-10 remaining, River King's up 1-0. Oh, he just had to say good day to him, you know. I think it, Mr. Connor Lee is from Australia. Well, good day. He's down under. He's also their leading scorer. So. Newcomer on the move now for the River Kings. Into the far corner. Got a defenseman on him, but used that speed to get away from him. Fakes the pass there. Gets it to Zagreski. Zagreski out in front of Willard. Willard tees that up for Zagreski again. He'll send that back to the blue line. So he'll get ready to take the shot. Gets it back to Radke. Radke, shot, save there by Young. He'll keep the glove on that. We will uh, prepare for yet another faceoff. So. Eighteen shots so far for the River Kings. Two for Steele County. Willard wins that draw, gets a newcomer, shot. Mm. High rising shot there, blockered up into the netting. We'll get ready for another face off. So. River Kings have Surlis, Radke, Newcomer, Willard, and Zagrebski out on the net, as well as Kyle McNair in net. Steel County wins that draw. Try to get it out of the zone, but Zagreski, good job there with the stick to keep that puck in. Carried out now by Steele County. Good poke check there by Cerullis to get that across the red line. Headed in the right direction here as the River Kings look to regroup offensively here. Radke on the move. Nice pass there, tape to tape. He got that to Newcomer. Newcomer tries to feed that across. Defenseman tips that up. Out of the reach of Zagrebski though. Puck comes out the center ice now. Skaggs has to hustle. Being pursued there by number seven, Brandy, Brady Nance. Brady Nance throws a, a big check there on number nine, Newcomer. And newcomer looking for a little payback here.
Steele County player comes in, shot, saved by McNair there, back behind the net. Number 20, Noah Murphy, one of our top players out there now. Save again by, shot up over the boards and out of play. We'll get ready for a faceoff. 4.48 remaining. Just like that, Steel County had a pretty good opportunity there, so. Just like that. So Steel County sends number 16, Charlie Smith, in to take the face off. Looks like he'll battle Shane Willard for the draw. And Willard's successful, as he often is. Out in front of the River Kings bench now. Good job by Harchie playing the man there. Scrum continues here. Neither side has an advantage at this point. Now Steel County comes away. That's number 21 for them. Evan Axel. Joe Blair meeting and greeting his opposing players. Mark Lochner appears to be ready over there on the camera. He's putting on the foil. Foil up. <laughs> Old time hockey. Huh? Right. 44th anniversary of Slapshot recently. So. Hey, uh, 25, Connor Lee in to take the draw. Picked up there by Steele County. Number eight gets that. That's Ryan Kerr. He'll send that into the far corner now. Steel. Great opportunity here. Opportunity for a breakaway. Now the bottle's on the move here. Shot, top of the circle. Oh, just saved by Young. He'll, he'll miss most of that check there as the defenseman tries to run him through the boards. Gets it out to Harchie. Oh, nobody out there to collect that. River Kings will have to regroup. Kyle McNair again, out there setting up his defense. So a little backhand pass out of him there. River Kings will dump that down the length of the ice. Hand in the air for icing here with 3.50 remaining in the first period. Well, we're definitely winning in the shot department there, Paul. So, But in the goal department, we're only got that one goal lead. The Steel County is hang hanging around here, so. This looked pretty close to the score the other night. Back behind the net now. Jordan Steer moves that up to Hargy. Puck knocked off his stick there, but the River Kings prevail. Shoot that out to center ice. Picked up there by number 10 for, for Steel County. They can store it all. Yakus backhands that back behind the net to Jordan Steer. He'll wear that up the boards. Big check there. Cole Krieger backhands that to Rydell. He's headed towards the net, crashing the net there. Oh, Young with the save there. Loses his stick, though. Good opportunity here for the River Kings. Young will have an opportunity to skate out there now and get his stick. Nice job crashing the boards there. Here comes Rydell again. Dumps that into the Steel County zone. Three minutes remaining in the period. Puck sent out to center ice now. Goes the length of the ice. We'll have yet another face off here. Steel County's guilty of icing. Be nice to get something going here in the last few minutes. This is the first period. He has been a good pace to the game. I agree. It'd be nice to pick up a little insurance here heading into the locker room for the, for the end of the period. Maybe we can do that here. Oh, backhand save oh, there. Puck still loose. Out in front. Oh, just couldn't pull the trigger there. Just player fell down. Smith fell down as he was trying to make the shot. And now the net came off of Moorings. That's kind of pressure we don't want to put on. Just keep going on the net. Keep shooting. Yeah, you see, usually in the River King game, you see a lot more of them controlling that puck in the offensive zone. So, been a little more even tonight than against some other teams we've seen recently. Kyle Smith gets that back to Joe Blair at the point. Blair sends that back in behind the net. Skaggs now. Good job there, forcing the offensive player to just dump the puck in. Out of the River Kings zone now, out in front of the out in front of the scorer's table. 
Puck well wide on the net there. McNair watches that go by. River Kings need getting a little too cute down in their own zone. They didn't move it out of there. And now they get it to Reese McDonald. He'll cross the blue line here into the Steele County zone with just over two minutes remaining in the period. Picked up here by number 17 for the for Steele County. And Wisconsin Rapids back out of their zone again. Nice pass cross rink. Newcomers got it. Nice job off the boards there to contain that, but Steele County will prevail with that. Zagrewski trying to get that puck away from the defending player at center ice. Minute 35 remaining in the period. Out along the far boards now. Willard gets that to Jordan Steer. Steer moving down. From his usual defensive position a little bit. Here's a chance in front of the net. Zagreski couldn't get anything going there. Mm. Tries to center it and defense chips that up in the air. Jordan Steer will collect that at center ice. He'll dump that into the zone. Back behind the net now. Young collects that. Newcomer, good job holding the puck in the zone there. Comes out now though, picked up by number 12, Jacob Kalen. Shot set, blocked there by the defense. Good job there by, by Cyrillus, number 20. He's on the move now, cross center ice, crossing the blue line, trying to get through. Can't split the defense though. River Kings will regroup at center ice. Number 25's got that now for Steel County. Steel County. Crosses over the blue line, gets it past the River Kings defense, out to the blue line. Steele County can't hold that in now. It's number 10, Stordell just could not control that. River Kings will control that. Another 30 seconds left to go in the period. Puck fluttered out to center ice, headed back towards Young in net, but won't get that far as Steele County Blades collect that puck. And Gives the River Kings a chance to get some fresh legs out there for the final 20 seconds. Good job there by Harjean knocking that down, preventing them from clearing the puck out of the zone. Tries a home run pass there. Number 22, uh, Sakor just couldn't get to that one. And that'll do it for the first period as the uh, Wisconsin Rapid River Kings enjoy a 1-0 lead at the end of the first period after putting up 21 shots as opposed to giving up four shots. We'll be back in just a few minutes with the start of the second period. Welcome back to the Southwood County Recreation Center, ladies and gentlemen, as we prepare for the start of the second period. River Kings enjoy a 1-0 lead here. Mark, uh, Jeff, what'd you see there in that first period? Well, I saw a team that came out and was getting a lot of shots on net, getting a lot of rebounds, but we're not getting a lot of, a lot of scoring here. We got a 1-0 lead, it's a close game, we're running into a goaltender that's so far just giving up the one. Yeah, Max Moore with a beautiful shot from the faceoff circle in the first to uh, sneak one by Young. He has been pretty tough in net tonight, so we'll see if the River Kings can fire it up here as Nathan Bottles takes the ice, along with Yakuz, Cole Krieger out there. Looks like we got Jordan Steer out there, along with Luke Hartje. We'll get ready to go here as Jordan Steer collects that puck, gets that across to Nathan Bottles. He'll cross the red line, dump the puck into the zone. Young leaves that for his defense now. Along the near boards. River Kings control and play in the zone. Centered out front, see if they can hold it in. Jordan Steer looking to pull the trigger, and he does. Rising shot there, backhanded in towards the net. Young middle play there. Out to the line now, held in by Jordan Steer. Good job there. Oh, tricky little shot there. Young loses his stick once again. That's the second time tonight he's lost that. Defenseman gets that back to him now. All the River King players on one side of the ice here, except for Jordan Steer, who'll collect that on the far half boards. Get that into the corner. River Kings looking to center that. Can't do anything with it there. Good close battle tonight. Nathan Bottles with the check behind the net. Harji's got it now. Looking for some time and space out there. Can't do anything with it. Steele County will move that up off the glass, out to center ice. Knocked down by Jordan Steer. Gets that across the new commercial. See if he can get a step. Got a shot here. Shot oh, scores. Shot. What a beautiful wrister there. Newcomer steps on the ice, they're getting the line change, and Puck comes to him, he brings it down, and just beats Young to the uh, upper right-hand corner above yeah. his glove hand. Yeah, not much Young could do there. He uh, Newcomer fired a missile in on him, so that's a great way to start the period, just a minute and four seconds in. Wisconsin. 
picked up here by number 21 for Steele County. They'll fire that shot in towards McNair. He'll glove that down. Jordan Steer on the assist and a newcomer goal. River Kings 2 0 now. Lyndon Orr in to take the shot. Oh, shot there by number seven, Brady Nance, off the side of the net now. So Gretzky looking to move that puck up and out of the zone. Gets that to Skaggs. Skaggs got the Jets going here across the blue line for the Blue Blades. Down in the far corner. Let's get that back around the back of the net here. Picked up by number 28. Gets that out to center ice now. Joe Blair picks that up. Skates that back behind the net. Being covered pretty heavily by the four checker. Blades try to bring that in. Looks like we're going to get a penalty call here, though. Looks like there may have been a little cross check in there, Jeff. Yeah, Mr. Skaggs is going to. Uh, he's going to the bench. He's going to the bench. This one's going yeah, our way going here. Going our way. Okay. Number uh, 21, Evan Axel, will have the opportunity to enjoy our visiting penalty box. Well, let's see if we can get our power play going. We haven't done much tonight on it with 0 for 2 and the two penalties for spirits. So. River King said Krieger out of there with bottles. Archie, Jordan Steer back at the point, along with Yakus at the center ice blue line. Jordan here. Carries in towards the net, decides to pass that off now. Gets that to Hartgee, back behind the net, top of the near faceoff circle. Gives that to Cole Krieger, his usual spot in his office there. Mm. Almost snuck that by him, but Young had it pretty much covered up. Steel well, County able to clear the zone. There was a little hole there, it just couldn't sneak through. Couldn't get that to go. It's all right, we'll regroup behind the net. Jordan Steers got it. And they're being hassled by the four checker, number 20, Noah Murphy. Mm. Picked up by Harji now, across the red line, trying to get past the defenders. They got three of them to beat. That's going to be tough, but he manages to center. Oh, just couldn't get that cleanly the way to Cole Krieger. Nathan Bottles hangs onto that puck, though, the near faceoff circle dump, but not no call on the play here. Yaku says, that's all right, I'll just shoot it in here. Looking to get that shot away now. Shot just a bit wide. He'll pick up his own rebound here. Instead, he'll chase that down now. Steele County breaks that out. Number 12 on the move. Trying to get past Jordan Steer. Good luck with that. Jordan steered him towards the corner as the River Kings control that power play here. Here comes Yakus. See if he gets a chance to pull the trigger, and he does. Young will swallow that up, though. Knock that puck right down in front of the net with, one, with 45 seconds remaining in the penalty. We got a few looks there in the power play, but uh, Steel County's doing a nice job keeping things to the outside. They play a tough defensive yeah, pretty style well, of hockey, so. Pretty well balanced game so far. Yakus with that. Sorry, that's Willard. Over to Skaggs. Willard has it back again now, waiting for that puck to settle down. Gets it out in front. Mm. Oh, Newcomer just couldn't get that to go. Or is that Brzecki? It was Brzecki. Brzecki. Brzecki's got that again. Nice feed out for yeah. scores! Yeah. Speaking yeah. of Newcomer, Brzecki with the feed out to Newcomer for a 3 0 lead as the River Kings enjoy their first power play goal of the evening. All right, Jeff, here you go. So we've got, uh, you've, played it, you've played these guys tight all night in spite of the scoreboard and in spite of the shot clock. All right. So you're down three goals with still a lot of game left to play. If you're Steel County, what do you got to do to get back in this? They're going to just kind of keep playing the way they are. They need to get that first goal. That's always the toughest goal to get, it seems like. You know, they're, uh, they're not out of this game, but they probably need to get the next goal. So. 30th goal of the year for Grant Newcomer. Shot saved by McNair. They won't be picking up a goal there on him. Does a good job steering that back behind the net. Max Moore out there to hassle the defenseman now. So Newcomer from Brzezicki and Skaggs. 3-0 lead for the River Kings. Shot there, high up over the net, into the netting. We'll get ready to go at 15-58 remaining. I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, physical play doesn't start picking up a little bit here, Paul, so. 
Yeah, it's been a uh, been a good pace of the game. Pretty entertaining. Yeah, actually got a chance to talk to some of the fans who had never been to a hockey game before, so they picked a good one to come out to. I hope you folks can uh, join us here at the Wood County Recreation Southwood County Recreation Center soon. Yeah, there's never if you've never been to a hockey game, come to a hockey game in person. There's nothing like it. Steel County trying to move that off the near boards here. They're successful in that, but can't get it past Cerulius who holds that in the zone. Steel County will break that out now. Cerulius with the body play there. Knocks that out the puck. Here comes Reese McDonald, top of the circle, trying to move that across. Shot in towards the net. Young will cover that up. We'll get a whistle here. Reese was hustling. He was hustling. Not a lot of room out there. He got the puck going and he got a shot off. Yeah, he's got a lot of, uh, that's kind of his game, you know? He does a lot with a little bit of room to work. Right. So, tough on the puck and a lot of speed. So, Jeff Redmond in now for the River Kings to take the face off. Redmond wins that draw, gets that to Brzezicki. He got a nice assist on that last goal. Ah, Redmond with the check behind the net now. Oh, that's Rydell. Rydell. Once the season's over, I'm getting my eyes checked. Ooh. Chance for Steele County here potentially as the River Kings player fell down at the blue line, but no, nope, turned around by Yaku, sent the other way. This will lead to icing though. We'll bring it back down towards Kyle McNair there as we prepare for the faceoff. Twenty-nine shots on goal, not even halfway through the game, and busy night for the River Kings. Eight shots so far. Eight shots, two goals. That's a good night. Out the center ice now. Steel County tries to move that up. Good job by Redmond there, breaking up that play, forcing him to dump it. Shot blocked in front. Out to the point. Down to the near far corner. The near far corner. Good. Yeah. Okay, back behind the net now. At the near corner. Really the near corner this time. And the River Kings will send that out. We'll have another icing here. Steel County putting the pressure on a little bit. River Kings dump that down the ice to take that offensive threat away. They'll call for the faceoff now to the left of Kyle McNair. Here's the near faceoff circle. Yeah, this line really needs to get a breakout here. They've been in, on the ice a long time. Yeah, usually when that happens, not good things happen. So Jordan Steers got that. Jordan Steers seemed to have been out there all night. That comes in, drifts in towards McNair. He'll put the glove down now to help his teammates out. We'll get ready for that line change now. Archie on the ice, Gags coming out, Nathan Bottles, Joe Blair, and Cole Krieger take over now for the tired River Kings that will get a chance to sit down after a rather long shift. Yeah, Paul, elsewhere in the league tonight, we have the Havoc, they're beating the Blue Walks two to one. It's in the second period there, and also the Minnesota Moose are up on the Vipers, two zero in Spooner, so. The battle for first, second, and third continues. Coming down to the end here. Cole Krieger will make that pass. Like to see the River Kings tie up, secure their position for sure with the sweep this weekend. So well on their way to winning tonight's game with a three nothing lead, but still a lot of hockey left to play. Right. We know for sure well, we, we will be playing hockey here in Wisconsin Rapid next weekend, but we'd like to get that number one seed. So. Tricky little shot in on McNair as it dribbles in. He'll deflect that in the corner for his defenseman, and River Kings break that out. Back behind the net. Young will tee that up. He'll shoot that along the boards to his defenseman. River Kings hold that in. Looks like Cole Krieger made that play. Starting to skate that up now, and hey! Somebody ran into the linesman. Pucks into the River Kings end of the ice along the far half boards now. Archie with a the move there. Out to neutral ice. 
Steele County crosses the red line with it. Big check there at center ice. Cole Krieger with a little open ice hitting there. And as you said, Jeff, the physical play is starting to pick up. Yes, it is, Paul. Off the boards now, Radke with it. Radke gets that over to Skaggs. Skaggs up to Krieger. Puck dumped into the Steel County Blades in. Defense will pick that up, skate that back around the net, look to move that up and out, and they do. Hold on to that, that looks like number 26 for Steel County. Brock Wallace. Cyrillus with that. Puck comes to Willard now. That was a nice break, Og. Yeah, good job there, using that speed. Using speed, using the boards to your advantage, so. Steel County using a little 1-3-1 one, one there as they move up ice. And they'll get that puck in towards Kyle McNair. We'll put the glove down on that, get ready for a faceoff with 12 one remaining in the second period. River Kings enjoying a 3-0 lead. 30 shots on goal so far, seven for the visiting squad. Willard out there to take the draw. It has Yakus, newcomer with him. Is, uh, Zagrebski as well. And Jordan Steer. Jordan's got the puck. And he'll flip that up out to center ice. Could have a 2 on one Newcomer unable to center that. Defense blocks that. Yakus is going to have to hurry now. But Steel County player applying that pressure. Good job there turning that around. Center that. Knocked down by the defenseman, number eight, Ryan Kerr. River Kings will enjoy controlling that puck. In the zone here now. Steel County trying to move it up. Physical play definitely picking up. Willard's been involved in a little bit of that. And pace low this game's picked up too, Paul. Jacob Kalen skates out in now for the Blades. Here comes Newcomer. Crossing the blue eye, the blue line now. Fade to, oh. oh! Nice pass there, just couldn't connect. And Willard getting a little payback in, of his own there as he applies the physical pressure here. Skaggs moves that up. <laughs> Newcomer will chip that up into the penalty box there. Get ready for a face off here. 10.53 remaining in the second. Joe Blair, Kyle Smith, Reese McDonald, Max Moore, and Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith out on there. Steel County's got uh, Brady Nance, Lyndon Orr. River Kings will send that in now. Picked up there by number 21. Evan Axel. Yeah, Paul, with the last name of Boer, you have to be wearing number four, don't you? Probably whether you want to or not. Right. right. Good battle in the corner here. River Kings trying to get that out of their zone now. Joe Blair picks that up now. Has his head up as he crosses the blue line. Dumps that in. Back behind the net into the far corner. Max Moore's got that. Kings will control that. Nice shot there by Max Moore. Looking for goal number two on the night. Little check there near the blue line. Skaggs looking to control that play in the zone. Blades will pick that up and collect that now. They're starting to make a partial line change. They dump that in the River Kings end. Or Radke picks that up. 9.45 remaining. Max Moore's got that. Checked into the boards there. It, uh, looked to have his back turned a little bit, but no call on that. Max Moore's up, and he appears to be okay. So, Yeah, I was going to say it was a little bit from behind, it looked like, but. He's a tough kid. He'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Sure, he took a number. No blood, no foul, I guess, huh? Guess not. Skaggs coming in to uh, tell the offending player on the visiting squad, you know, we'll have no more of that tonight. So River Kings need to get that offensive zone pressure going again here. It's been a little back and forth the last few minutes of this period. See if we can move, do that here now. Cirillus has it. Pass the blue line, tries to split the D, held up there. River Kings will hold it in the zone. Cirillus got it again. 
Over to Brzecki. He's got an assist tonight. Rydell in there, pursuing that puck behind the net. Steel County looking to turn that over. Good job by, by Brzecki keeping that puck in the zone. Along the far point now, shot high up over the net. Cerulius pins his man down there, and River Kings keep that puck in the net. They're in their zone as Radke sends that towards the net. Redmond's got it now. Looking for somebody to pass that off to. He's ridden into the boards. Physical play definitely picking up now. Rydell with a check. Cerulius has Boom. that. The uh, visiting player just held up at the last second on that. That could have been bad. Yes. Uh, good, good of him to hold up like that. Yeah, he had his head down. He was. Not yeah, that would have been. Uh, could have potentially been the end of the evening for him. So good to see him. Good to see that. It's good, good sportsmanship. Good heads up awareness there. Of what was going on on the ice there? So. All right, face off here, coming to the left of Young. Cole Krieger will be in there to take the draw for the River Kings. Big check along the boards here. Steel County number 29 gets ready to move that out. Jordan Steer's got that now. Gets that around the boards to Harchie. Harchie sends that into the blade's end. Back behind the net. Nice four check there by Nathan Bottles. Archie in there helping him out now as River Kings are trying to get something set up offensively. Cross ice pass here to, to Jacob Kylan for Steel County. Let's see if he can get anything away. Can't there. River Kings do a nice job blocking that off. Puck comes out in front of the net. Controlled here by Wisconsin Rapids. And Bottles will pass that puck up to Archie who may have a step away here. Chance here. Shot. Scores! Yes. Up and over the shoulder again. Luke Hartje with a beautiful, a beautiful goal. Yeah, they found the spot on the upper glove hand side. I think all four goals tonight have either been scored in the left or the right upper corner, so. Yeah, they've got a couple up there tonight, and it's, uh, he, he made a nice move getting a step there. He sure did. All right, right, back to center ice. Here's Willard. River Kings take that 4-0 uh, lead, and that may be enough to take the wind out of the sails for the Blades here, Jeff, don't you think? Well, it could be, but it, right now they're putting on a good far check here. And, but the River Kings are breaking out. Here comes Newcomer down the left wing here. Yeah, Newcomer's Please. definitely looking to ice this one already. So, <laughs> Possible hat trick for him, huh? That'd be sweet. Shot just wide there. Comes out. Joe Blair pinches down to try to get that. Puck gets past him, unfortunately. And Blades will break that out. Cross ice pass doesn't connect. Oh, Skaggs. Good job there. Plant taking his player to the boards on the outside. Luke Hartje with that last goal for the fourth one for the night for the River Kings. Jacob Yakus with the assist. By number 27, Nathan Bottles with the second assist on that Hartje goal. So. Goal at 12:28. 6:50 left to go here in the second period. 32 shots on net for the River Kings. Nine for Steele County. Nice win on the draw there. Puck shot in towards McNair. Makes a save into the back behind the net. Newcomers got it now. You know his quickness is just incredible. How fast he accelerates. This is. Willard's got that now. Puck comes up past the Grebsky. Young will play that as icing is waved off. Steel County having to back up now. And they actually give that up, and we're bowling for goalies here as the Grebsky's run into the goaltender here by number 27 for Steel County. We're going to get a penalty call here. It's going to be a hooking and number 27 for the, so, for the Blades. Ryan Brule. Brule? Brule. I like me a little creme brulee. Yeah, so. yeah, isn't that dessert? Yeah. 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 Speaking of dessert. Speaking of dessert. In case we didn't have any plans between periods. All right, two minutes for hooking. 
Number 27, Ryan Berlay, will sit down for Steele County. Putting the River Kings back on the power play. I believe we have one power play goal so far tonight, Jeff, right? Looking at a, a fifth goal here. Skated around the net there by Harji. Up to Steer. He'll pedal that along the blue line now. Trying to fire a shot. Can't get it away. Gets it to Cole Krieger. Cole Krieger set up over there in his office at the top of the faceoff circle. Skates in towards the center. Mm. Oh, good job right defensively. Idea. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, couldn't get that to go. And have to play a little defense now. Number 25 for Steele County's up on his own. Shot saved. McNair with a big save there. Yeah, he stood tough. Oh, yeah. Don't want to give up those shorthanded goals. That's, That's a, a way to get the team back in the game. So. Oh, yeah. Big psychological boost there. So nice to know, you know, if, if you're the five guys playing in front of Kyle McNair, good to know that, you know, you've got him back there. And he's, you can, uh, he's got your back. He can bail you out a little bit. You know, he's got the 17 wins on the season so far. Or, sorry, 13 wins. 13. Played 17 games, so good year. And recently committed to college, so good for him. Yeah, he's going to go over to uh, Lawrence University over in uh, Appleton. Appleton, Wisconsin. So. Jordan Steer hustling back now. Once oh. again, beating back to the puck there. You don't see that too often. And Noah Murphy picks up that shorthanded goal. Five guys in front of... Uh, McNair kind of leave him hang out the dry a bit here. Yeah. Yeah, there's some gentlemen that know they let Mr. McNair down there, so. Well, good opportunity though. You know, you see the coaching staff over there talking about, okay, here's what happened and here how to avoid that next time. It's definitely a coachable moment. Absolutely. Yeah. You don't get a better coaching staff than us. Murphy with the shorthanded goal, unassisted. Shot scores! Whoa. Oh, what a oh. sniper! Wow! So much for giving up the four goal advantage, huh? Right back on the board there as Zagrebski buries that one up, up high over the shoulder. Get it back real quick, so. The announcer had barely gotten the name out before we announced, before that red light came on again. And Mr. Young looks a little frustrated down there in the, in the net. All right, Willard to center ice, got newcomer with him. Zagrebski just scored that goal. Wisconsin Rapid power play goal. 19th goal of the year for number 11, Trey Zagrebski. Skaggs with the assist. Sander Willard with the second assist. So Zgretzky from Sander and Willard. Here comes Steel County now, trying to come across the red line, across the blue line, taking off the puck there. River Kings trying to clear the zone. Shot up. Oh, deflected high. That got a bit of a break there as that missed the net. So that changed direction at the last second there. Nice move there by Cirillus, putting on the brakes, getting that puck and trying to move that up ice, and that'll come out of the zone. 4.05 remaining in the second period. 5-1 lead for the River Kings. Cirillus has that now, gets that back to Radke. Radke up off the glass. Down the length of the ice, no icing though. Picked up here, Zagreski, nice feed out to the high slot. Gets that to Willard, tries to feed that across, mm. shot, save, big rebound, and the young will pounce on that now as that drifts back in. Zagrebski was looking for another one. Mr. Newcomer just about had number three there. So close. Mr. Young's getting a little frustrated too. You can see after that, after he made a yeah. stop, he just. Well, I think he's giving up the last three all the same way, high up over the shoulder. And he really hasn't had much chance on any of those. It's just... Steel County comes away with that now, back behind the net into the far corner. 
Pinched along the far boards. Good job by Smith, helping to keep that puck in. The rest of the squad in there to work with him as well. But Steel County comes away with that now. It's number 25, Connery picks that up. Sends that in, and puck out, laying out in front now. See if the River Kings can clear that. Got to get it out of the zone here, and Max Moore backhands that out. Causing a little tension down in that end for Mr. McNair here. River Kings offsides, they can't clear, they can't get into the zone. There's Max Moore. Welcome to Wisconsin Rapids. Good job in here on the four check. Continues that. Oh, I thought he was gonna, I thought he had him lined up there, but I guess he decided not to go after him. He was going for that puck and probably had thoughts about wrapping it around the net, so. Skaggs back to pick that up now. Turns around, wheels that up ice, gets that up to Moore, who gets it to Krieger. Krieger will absorb a big hit in the far corner. Steele County will start to bring that up. Number 27 loses that in his skates, that's Brule. Two and a half minutes to go in the second period. Max Moore starting to bring that up, backhands that out to Nathan Bottles. He'll Turn the Jets on, Max Moore's headed to the bench. He's exhausted, shot, Ooh. oh, what a feed across there. Skaggs just couldn't beat right. Young on that one. Great setup though. Harchie shot, nobody in front of the net there to cause any traffic. Young will stop that one easily, but what a great setup that last shot was. Yeah, Skaggs was right on the doorstep there and yeah, young whacked at it a couple times, just couldn't get it to go past. Young made a heck of a save. All right, Krieger in here to take the draw. Has Yakus and, and Jordan Steer back on defensive. Yakus will float that in towards the net. And Young has seen just about enough of crazy bounces and shots up over the shoulder. He'll glove that down and we'll face off again. Hey, so what do we got going on the rest of the weekend here? Oh, we got a game tomorrow night, huh? We have the Seal County Blades coming back. Should be a good one. Jordan Steers got that, tries to center it. Knocked down by the defense, held by Yakus now though. Shot in towards the net. Young, Young will cover that up here as Harchie got a tip, a tip in on that. Tried to put uh, it through the five hole, but just closed it down, huh? Couldn't get it to go. Hey, so we've got a minute. I'd like to uh, start thanking all the River Kings fabulous volunteers. John Schwartz, Linder Fuhrer. Joanne Kaiser, Jim Arnold, Rebecca Frossier, Patty Cooney. Face off here for the River Kings. Along the far boards now. Just over a minute and 30 seconds remaining in the period. River Kings start to skate that in. Ah, pass just behind Nathan Bottles there. Yakus will blast that in though. And blocker that up into the netting. Hey Jeff, who else? Uh, who else is volunteering to help us out here at the rink? Could tell these great games. Oh, we got Chris Weir, Chris Seaford, uh, Ron Kingman, Merrill Cooney, Tracy Hunter, Bill Nyman, Matt. We got Matt Fillmore. Fillmore, huh? Matt Fillmore. Matt Fillmore. I know that guy. Uh, Art Nabgeski. <laughs> Face off here to the right of Young. Steel County wins that. They'll come out of the zone now. Number 21 carries that up for them. McNair watching things closely here. Steel County tries to center that puck, and they do kind of a deflecting, bouncing pass towards the center of, ice, center of the ice. Yeah, McNair got a stick out there and kind of tipped it up and out of the way. So. One minute to go in the second period now. Surrealist moves that up. Down into the corner here for the River Kings to try and pursue offensively. They've got it now. Can't get anything set up quite yet. Skaggs, or Willard's working hard there. Gets it to Surrealist. Shot. Big, big rebound again. Let's see if we can do anything with it now. Surrealist picks that up. Gets it to Willard. Cross ice feed there. Couldn't make, get the tip to go. So Grebs, he's got it now. Just over 30 seconds remaining in the period. Backhand out the center ice. Steel County on the move. 
Denied there by Willard. He's had he's had a good solid game so far tonight. Yeah, those whole lines played really well tonight. So. Shot. Nice McNair save. in position to block that though, and that'll go up into the netting with 15.3 to go. So yeah, me. McNair stood tall there. Yeah, he's made a couple of big saves in the last few minutes here. 40 shots on goal. I don't know if the Toronto Maple Leafs have had 40 shots on goal all season. Okay, puck flipped out of the River Kings zone. Comes all the way down ice. Picked up here by the Steel County Blades. Max Morin on a four check there. He took a high stick to the mouth there. He appears to be okay as he plays on. And that'll do it for the end of the period. So at the end of two, visiting Steel County Blades one, Wisconsin Rapids River Kings five. We'll be back in just a few minutes at the start of the third period. Welcome back to the Southwood County Recreation Center for the start of the third period of action tonight. Wisconsin Rapids holds a 5-1 lead over to Steel County Blades. 40 shots on goal so far. 20 minutes to go. It looks like in this one here, Jeff, what do, you got, uh, what do we got to do to close this one out with a victory? Just uh, keep those feet moving. Hit, you know, hit the players. Play River King hockey. Aggressive, smart. Are you going to... Steel County is probably going to come out, be aggressive, play the body, and uh, just got to match them. Continue playing the way they're doing, huh? Keep that intensity level up. So, Martin and Gibson got the got the uh, intensity level up here. As he gets a great picture of the booth up here. Hi, folks. Good to see y'all. So, getting ready for Steel County to come back onto the ice here. All right. Linesman checking with the gold judges, make sure the lights work. Checking with the goaltenders, make sure they're ready to go. We're certainly ready to go here. As we get ready to watch Mr. Harchie, Cole Krieger, Nathan Bottles, Jordan Steer, and Jacob Yakuz begin this third period here. And they'll begin that by winning a faceoff. Back to Yakuz, over to Steer. Nice cross-ice pass, just a little bit behind Nathan Bottles, who have to poke that into the visiting end and get down into the corner. He'll battle his man for that puck. Steel County will come away with that puck here. Oh, big check there. Cole Krieger meeting and greeting folks there. Shot in towards the net. Young save, kicked that rebound out. Picked up by Bottles here. River Kings have come out flying here. Is Harchie looking to take that to the net and does. Looking for the wraparound. Oh, Boom. just through the crease. Couldn't get a stick on there to poke that into the net. Steel County will turn that back around, cross the River Kings blue line here. They're Short-lived trip to the offensive zone. No, as Luke Harkey come down to the near boards. We'll send that in. Gets that to Young, and he's just going to backhand that behind the net and try to find himself a break here as he's faced 41 shots right there. Yeah, you have to wait. like the way the River Kings came out of the gate there. That first line just put on a lot of pressure here. So he just couldn't, couldn't finish the wrap around there, but great pressure. So brought in here by number four, Lyndon Orr. He will not find much success here as he carries that in the River Kings end. And River Kings very responsible defensively. Joe Blair there with a the little check. And backhand out now to Skaggs. Skaggs will send that in towards the net. A little bit wide. Picked up here by number five, Gavin Ellis. Sends that back around the boards. Skaggs absorbs a the hit there. Out in front now. Chance here, Newcomer. Mm. No goal there. 5-1 River Kings, 18-28 remaining. Get ready for the face-off here, so. Not sure what that conversation was in the corner there. Yeah, referee, I didn't. Uh, referee was talking to a River King and a Steel, Steel County player, so. We'll get ready to go here. River Kings, Willard wins that draw, shot. Grisky with a good wrister there, but Young gloves that one down. So. Hey again, uh, let's, let's thank a few more of our volunteers here. Donny Graspus, the uh, voice, the rink announcer. Can Brought you? out here by Steele County. Big check there, though. It's a, it's a 
Gretzky throwing the body around. Surprising how powerful he checks. Not the, uh, not the largest player on the team, but pretty well-rounded. Radke gets that across to Surlis. Down the far side boards now. Newcomer's got it. Spins back around, looking for some help. Can't find any. Plays it around off the boards. Turns it over to Steele County. They'll get it out of the zone. Back out to Neutralize here. Newcomer will send that over now. Radke's got it. Turn over here. Picked up here by number 10 for, uh, for Steele County. Takes that in towards the net. McNair with the save. So Krebsy absorbs a little bit of a high hit there. River Kings will start to take that down. Nets off the mooring here as Newcomer was dumped. I think we're going to have penalty penalty call, maybe. Doesn't appear to be so. Oh, no, Newcomer was dumb. Yeah. And that makes us sad. All right. Coming to the face-off circle now. From the little state in the Union, Rhode Island, here's Kyle Smith. He's got Max Moore working with him. Jordan Steer. Yakus as well. Reese McDonald. Steel County's got it in the near corner. Reese in there causing havoc. Steel County will manage to try to clear the zone here, but Reese McDonald once again with that big blast there from the side. Max Moore looking to pick up his second goal of the night here. He hammered that one, Jeff. Yeah, just about snuck that one through the five hole. 17.06 remaining. Faceoff will come to the right of Young over in the Steel County end of the ice. Steel County comes away with that now. Trips over the Phantom Blue Line. Like many visiting players here this year. Jordan Steer. Oh, bad turnover here for the River Kings. Let's see if they get away with it. Shot. McNair with the save. Reese McDonald trying to clear it. Can't get it out of the zone. Brought up by Yakus now, who cut across center ice. Being hassled here by number seven, Brandy Nace. Nance. River Kings goal for a line change. Joe Blair sends that in behind the boards. Good battle along the far corner there. Joe Blair will keep that puck in the zone there through uh, a lot of effort there. So he was down for half that play. Still did a good job keeping that in. So Skaggs here, shot. Oh, high rising shot there. And Young managed to get the glove up that time. He's been beaten up there a few times tonight, but he got hold of that one, denying Skaggs the opportunity to enjoy his a goal celebration. Yeah, Mr. Skaggs kind of been snake bit for a while here. He's, he makes some nice rushes and he's he's gonna get a, a bunch one of these days here, so. Redmond in to take the face off here. Far face off circle to the right of Young. Brzecki gets that back to Redmond. Redmond tries to feed that out front. Nobody home for the River Kings. Steel County will pick that up. Come across the blue line, cross the red line. Backhand that in towards McNair. Big check along, big check along the boards there as Pierce Lee takes a uh, takes a check along the boards. And this is right, I'll, uh, has some size to him. He can definitely put the the body to someone. So Kyle McNair prepares for the faceoff here to his left. River Kings end of the ice. Got a good one out there to help take the draw for him with Cole Krieger, and he wins that faceoff. Luke Harchie. Covered up by the offense and by the Steel County player there. Absorbs a bit of a check there. Manages to get that puck back around to Surlis. Linesman or referee throws the pick there for us. We can't get out of the zone now. And now we do. Puck up the center ice, tried to get that to Bottles, and just out of his reach, that'll come in on Young. Young will play that off the boards. And Steel County will try to move that up. Brad Geek, good job there. Just pins him against the board to make the play. Steel County trying to look for a way to find some offensive pressure here as the River Kings not letting them do much. 
Trying to get that puck out the center ice. Shot. Blocker save there up into the corner. River Kings need to get hold of that. Cirillus gets dumped there. Perhaps a bit of an elbow. Maybe not. Bottles on the forecheck here. Wearing out that Steele County player here. Leads to a turnover. Cole Krieger's in. Shot off the pipe there. He rang it off the crossbar. Ooh, music to, young, to Young's ears. Looks like we're going to get a penalty call here as the Steele County Blades players down. I don't see a number on him. Shoulder. Maybe Charlie Smith. Yeah, I don't see the number on him either. There's a six, it looks like. It's hard to say. Trainer coming out to take a look at him, though. So while I've got a minute, let's uh, let's thank a few more of our volunteer staff here: Candy Blake, uh, Blake Slee, Lexi Fuhr, Nick Nye, Chris Southwick, Chris Weir. Larry Noir, Tom Lokes, Jen Lucas Weski, Paul Kennedy, Zach Barge. So, okay, Cole Krieger will be without the services of uh, him tonight. The remainder for the night here as he picks up a five minute major and has been invited to leave the game after that hit. Visiting player still down. Trainers look, working on him. Yeah, initially I didn't think the ref was going to call anything, but then when the player didn't get up, they just all of a sudden about a minute later the hand went up. I think there's going to be contact to the head. So. Yeah, five minutes for head contact. So, from here it looked like. Cole got his shoulder into him. It but did, yeah. But good news is the visiting player, we still can't see a number on him. Trainers are but still he's, working on him, but he's he, moving. He's, so Yeah, he's getting up to his knees. He's, he'll probably be on his feet in a second here. So so we'd like to thank uh, Art Nagepsik, Milt Van Nata, Zach Barge, Matt Panier, Bill Neiman, Tracy Hunter, Merle Cooney, Ron Kingman, Carla Robertson, Lisa Black, Maddie Wood, Maggie McClure, Nikki Plato, Del Walloond, Brian Piller, Jason Ward, Russ Blakesley, 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 Jeff Conklin, Matt Fillmore, and Austin Molopeski, as well as Mark Lochner for all their help this year. My apologies for any mispronunciations. And let's also, Paul, let's not forget some of our great sponsors we have, like uh, Midwest Cold Storage and Logistics, one of our big big sponsors. We have Subway's, Subway Foods, Rapids Orthodontics. So. Polito's Pizza, who will be sponsoring our Three Stars of the Game t-shirts at the end of the game. There you go. We have Grace's. Great place for breakfast. We have Johnny's Bar and... Was it Hoogles? Hoozles. 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 Huh? Hoozles. Huh? Two spots. Yeah, my glasses are fogging up here. I just couldn't, couldn't see that fine print here. So. All right, good news here. The visiting player is rising to his feet here. And it's nice to see all the fans here are giving him a nice round of applause Absolutely. too. So. Yeah, it's a bit woozy still, but teammates are helping him get to the bench here. It looks like 16, 16. Okay, yeah, number 16, Charlie Smith for Steele County. Yeah, that's a little, gonna be a loss for them. Charlie's their third leading scorer. So. Leading scorer, yeah. He's got 13 goals, 28 assists on the year for 41 points, so. Ah, more importantly, we hope the young man's okay. Hope to see him back tomorrow night. So. And what time is that game tomorrow night, Jeff? It will be at 7 o'clock, Paul. 7 o'clock. So get here around 6.30 or so. Check out our souvenir stand. 
pick up some official River Kings gear, and then come in and enjoy the game. It's been a good one so far tonight. Steele County, five-minute penalty play, or power play here. See if they can make something happen. Shot, Kyle McNair, kick saving a beauty there. He'll send that into the corner. Back behind the net now. Yakus send that long distance all the way back down here to our right. Young will collect that. Steel County looking to move up now. We're 21 with that puck. Evan, Evan Axel. Orr's got that now. Gets that back to Axel. Or sorry, over to Noah Murphy. Shot. Then to the fish there as, Ma as McNair stands up and collects that off the logo. 4-10 remaining in the, in the power play for Steele County. One, zero, three, five. Face off to McNair's left here in the River Kings end. Nathan Bottles wins the draw. Radke pins his man against the boards here. River Kings trying to keep everything to the outside here. Got a man in front. Good job there by Soros trying to clear the porch. Now Radke comes in to help out with that. Bottles has his man covered up, the opposing 27. Not letting anything go on there. Nice play there by Radke. He had a stick in the right spot. River Kings doing a good job here keeping that play at. Away from the front of the net, Ooh. get it out front now. And Kyle McNair denies that opportunity as he steps out to the top of his crease and collects that puck. Yeah, good thing he, he healed on there. The blades are right on the doorstep, so. Yeah, starting to move in. Get a line change here. Reese McDonald out now, Jordan Steer, Kyle Smith out. You know, one, one of the things when you lose a player like Cole Krieger, you lose one of your main penalty killers, too. So. Uh, yeah, and one of your best face-off players, so. When you go five, five minutes, that kind of breaks up your line. It's hard to get continuity to go on. Yeah, and I don't think it was anything intentional on Krieger. He's not that kind of player, but. No. We certainly hope that Charlie Smith's okay, so. Shot here. Save. Ooh. McNair with the rebound, covers up the rebound there. Puck shot out of the zone here. Picked up by number 21. Evan Axel's got that. He'll move that along to Orr. Orr tries to send that in, shoots it off the back of his own player now with 2.55 remaining in the, in the power play. River Kings will dump that down the length of the ice here. They will head to the bench in mass as they've been out there quite a bit and get ready for that faceoff. Yeah, get some fresh legs out there, so. Nathan Bottles in pursuit. Puck wheeled along the board now. Radke will move that up and out. Can't quite clear the zone here, though, and now they do. Zagrebski, four checks, but more interested in being responsible defensively. He'll come back now. Great play there as the River Kings dump that down the length of the ice again. 2.15 remaining in the penalty. Young's got that. Getting ready to set them up. Burley's got that along the far boards. Puck shot towards the net, well up over Kyle McNair's he uh, head. So that must have been about we 10 feet in here. Here's a chance here. Now Nathan Bottles on the move, being pestered by the defense. Opportunity here, she scores! Nice. Nathan Bottles on the backhand. Short-handed goal there. Beautiful shorty there. River Kings take a 6-1 lead after that short-handed goal. And nobody's cheering louder right now than Cole Krieger. All right, a lot of happy River Kings down to our left, Jeff. Yeah, they'll take the starts out of the uh, Steel County Blades. They're starting to get a little life that, there and coming back. And then... Yeah, you think maybe you've got an opportunity with that long of a power play and then uh, to give up a shorthanded one. Number 27 for number 27 there is Nathan Bottles picks up his 27th goal. Radke with the assist on that goal. Bottles from Radke. 8.25 in the period when that was scored. 
Yeah, speaking of goals, Paul, I don't know if you heard that, but right at the end of the second period, they announced that uh, Mr. Harchie has actually set the new record for most goals in one season by a River King. So. Well, congratulations. Now, nah, I've been a little uh, preoccupied in between periods this evening, so. so. Cerulius has that. He'll send that out of the zone. Down the boards, Young tries to collect it, skips up over his stick. Now he'll come out. Hand that over to the defense. Now under a minute to go in the power play. And McNair says, well, he's going to handle the puck. I can handle the puck. And he does. River King's looking to move that up. Radke wheels that around the boards. Good job trying to get that out. But held at the point here by number eight. Yet another again. opportunity. Here comes Nathan Biles looking for 28. Tries to feed that across. Snuck that through. Backhander. Young didn't save that one by much. He might have stopped that one length, one puck length short of going in. Yeah, I think if somebody was coming down the slot there and got a stick out there and jammed it, that would have gone through. He's had a long night. All right, face off. Here's a Gripsky. Tries to win that. Who takes a high stick for his efforts there? No call, though. Skates away. He's fine. Puck comes bouncing through the crease. McNair will let that go. Yakus up around the boards. Sent back behind the net by Steele County now. So Gretzky with a check there. Puck comes through the slot, but nobody there for Steele County to do anything with that. And River Kings will clear the zone here. With that penalty over now. Great kill by the River Kings there. They didn't give up a goal and actually collected a short-handed one. So. And we're going to get a too many men on the ice penalty here, Paul. Mr. Karras came out of the penalty box. The puck hit him, and he's going to go sit down again. So. Well, Zagrebski has been added as an assist on that bottle's goal. And at number 28, Karras will sit for two minutes as the bench miner has been assessed to the River Kings for too many men on the ice. I guess that's one way to get your name in the box score, right? I made the paper. All right. Steel County tries to send that in, deflected down in front of the net. Puck laying in the slot. Nobody can do anything with it. River Kings will send that up off the glass and all the way down. Under. Passes that. Number 25's got that now and taken away. Here's Reese McDonald. Let's see if he can get a chance here. Shoot. Scores. No, he didn't score. I thought he scored. No, the glove hand came out there. I'm sad now. Reese McDonald should have scored there. That was a great yeah. shot. He just didn't get high enough there. Huh? The glove came out, but he got to go higher on this guy. So nice save by Mr. Young there. So And a horrible call by their TV announcer. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> What can you do, you know? I think you were thinking about those twin bings for Mrs. McDonald if Reese scores from uh, Sioux City, Sioux City, Iowa. I'm not familiar with that product, but. Oh, it's a. I think after the broadcast, we should have plans for this cake. That's right. <laughs> Puck sent up high here. Here's Luke Harkey with a chance. Going to send that out in front now for Nathan Bottles. Mm. He can't put that away. His defenseman was all over him. Steele County brings that up across the blue line. Back behind the net. Nice job, Harky. Back chucking. Yeah. Him. Very responsible defensively tonight. Oh, come on, ref. There you go. Wow. There you go, a little cross-checking call now. That'll take care of the rest of the, the shorthanded situation for the River Kings now. It's with 30 seconds to go in their in their penalty. Now the uh, Steel County Blades. Ryan Kerr picks up two minutes for cross-checking.
So Gretzky in on the faceoff. Back behind the net. We'll go Still four can. on four for a little while here. So. In about 20 seconds, the River Kings will be on a power play here. Or in the corner. Can't get the puck away from the River Kings player, and the River Kings will start to move that up. Yakuz mm -hmm. tries to backhand that out of the zone. Unsuccessful in that, but reclaims the puck after a nice body check, and he'll skate it up now. So he'll leave that for Zagrebski. Zagrebski gets that across to Jordan Steer. River Kings on a power play now. Jordan Steer with a shot, shouldered into the corner now by Young. Steel County picks that up. They'll dump that all the way down cross ice where Kyle McNair will, tear that, will tee that up. River Kings will look to set up that power play. So power play has been good this year. Nice dish there by Newcomers. He gets that to Willard. Willard back behind the net, trying to get something set up here. Over along the board, Zagrebski. Over to Skaggs, Skaggs gets a shot. Nice shot by Jordan Steer to hold that in the zone. He'll get that back to Skaggs. Skaggs tries to backhand it off the boards and leave it for Steer. Good job there by Newcomer battling to keep that puck in, but Steel County prevails and they'll knock it out of the zone now with 40 seconds remaining in their penalty. Jordan Steer battles that corner. Come, River Kings come away with the puck now as the grips, he's got it. At the blue line, skating in towards the net, backhand just missed on that one. Brzecki will hold that in the zone now. Under 30 seconds remaining in the penalty. River Kings controlling play along the blue line. Oh, and they call that being out. I didn't see that yeah. cross the blue line. <laughs> uh, he was, I guess, right on top of it, so. Mm, check your phone, ref. Yeah. <laughs> I think after the season, maybe he should go get his eyes checked with you, Paul. So. Right, yeah, I thought I missed a call earlier, but maybe not as bad as that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Speaking of Reese McDonald, who was clearly robbed on that last shot attempt. <laughs> He's in to take the face off now, working with Luke Harchie. Got Nathan Bottles out there. Cirillus will feed that over to Skaggs. Skaggs back to Cirillus. Along the boards. Linesman throws a pick. Reese McDonald in to pick it up anyway. In the far corner, up to the point. Cirillus has that. Penalty's over now. Both teams are back at full strength. Cirillus has it. Gets that over to Reese McDonald. Shot. Save. Just under six minutes remaining in this one. 49 shots on goal for the River King. 20 for the visiting squad. River Kings are enjoying a 6-1 to one lead. Kyle Smith to take the face off now. Back behind the net. Radke's got it just inside his blue lines. He moves at the center ice, gets that to Karras. And that puck will float up into the River King bench. So how's that playoff picture looking again, Jeff? Who, do, uh, who, who could be our, uh, our first matchup? Well, it could be either the uh, Mallards, Rum River Mallards, or the uh, Rochester Vipers. They both have 20 points, and they're kind of battling for that seven and eight spot. So, and of course, we're if we win tonight and tomorrow night, we'd be number one. So we'd be playing number eight. So. Battle along the near boards here. Puck sent out to the center ice here. Picked up by number five, Gavin Ellis, first. Steel County. Brock Wallace has it now. Radke will pick that up in neutral ice and send that into the Steel County Blade zone. Steel County trying to get something going here. Number seven, Brandy Nance tries to backhand that off the glass and get around the River King player, but he's unsuccessful. And yeah, the line, linesman through the trip. <laughs> And I think we'll see uh, Mr. Redman come over here, sit a couple minutes. What? 
Time for the Redmond Fan Club to uh, to come back now with the Justice for Jeff sweatshirts. I can see somebody over there though, letting the referee know, though. So. That's it, huh? Yeah, there they go. Redmond gets two minutes, and the fan club is does not approve of that call. So the River Kings shorthanded for the next two minutes as Redmond will sit. Reese McDonald tries to move that out. Steel County holds that in. Oh, big mm, chance there. Just missed on that one as that puck was bouncing all over the place. Number 29 for them tried to bury that, but no luck for Pierce Lee there. Held of the River Kings blue line now. Shot McNair with the save. Rebound out in front. McNair quick to close everything down there as he snow angels in the crease to make that save. He just uh, kind of reached out there, pulled it back on underneath them. So. Well, you know, with his reach, I think he can touch both both posts. So that certainly helps. And we wish Kyle the best as he moves on to his college career after this season with the River Kings. So down the length of the ice now. Young holds that up for the defense here. It's Steel County looking to get something going offensively here. They, they've had 22 shots tonight. They've only been successful once, so. Yeah, after a slow start, they've really turned things up. And yeah, the pace of the game is starting to slow down a little bit. It's been a uh, pretty high energy game from the beginning, but a little bit of a, a, little bit of a slower pace now. It looks like Steel County was offsides there. Well, for the River Kings, when you go spent about the last uh, seven minutes, eight minutes, and uh, shorthanded, shorthanded, yeah. it's hard to get things going. So, bottles into for the faceoff, won by Steel County. Number eight, Ryan Kerr knocked off the puck there. Hard G in there now, doing a little four checking. You know, Archie just never seems to let those, he never seems to be standing still. His feet are always moving. Mm -hmm. This is why he's been so successful. Yeah, at all levels, wherever he's gone, he's been one of the leading scorers. Shot in towards the net. Sorry, Jeff. I was just saying, wherever he's gone, he's been one of the leading scorers on his team. And like I said, he's come here this year and set the, uh, all times single season goal scoring record, so. No easy task either. The River Kings have had some great offensive players in their history. Mm -hmm. Face off here to the right of Kyle McNair. Kyle Smith in to take the draw. Whistle's blown now. Linesman doesn't like something. Yeah, trying to keep the creepers in from creeping in the face offs there. Go get too close, so. Shot here, Ooh. McNair with the save. Kicked out to the far boards. Smith tries to clear the zone there. Can't, now he does. Reese McDonald in on the play. Steel County sends that back to the River Kings end, but they'll turn back around, and get that out. Oh, nice stand up check there by Cirillus at the blue line. Penalty's over. River Kings have killed that penalty off. So with uh, under three minutes remaining here, Max Moore looking to add to his stats tonight. So he'll send that into the deep end of the blades end of the ice. Out front now, Smith can't get anything happening there. He's at the end of his shift and he's about out of gas, but he'll do what he can to try to keep that puck in. Puck comes through the slot now. McNair watching that closely. He'll cover that up now with 2.23 to go. So tomorrow night, Paul, it's all going to come down to one final game. And River Kings win it. They win everything here. They win. Should be exciting. They take the league here. So, so the he, other two games where we kind of keep an eye on the Havoc are winning and also the Moose that are handily winning in their game. So. Nice. Good to have things in your own control. <clears throat> All right, Brzezicki now 
Strong on the puck there. Is a Steel County Blades camp player. Player can't take that away from him. Here's a chance here. Redmond looking for a goal here. Scores oh. with the backhand. And let's watch out for the celebration here. Puts it through the five hole. Mr. Redmond. Beautiful backhander. Uh, and you know, after that call it, that, uh, that he got there, little redemption goal there definitely makes his day. It's good to see that smile. I think they got all the teeth back in place from a couple weeks ago. So Yeah, I think uh, perhaps wearing the, the shield now is not a bad idea for him. Let them teeth get settled back in. So 7-1 to one now. River Kings in control with two minutes remaining in the, in the game. Behind the net. Six goal of the year. Jeff Redman with the goal. He was assisted by number 16, Zane Rydell. Rydell with the assist. And Brzezicki with the assist. So Redman from Rydell and, and Brzezicki puts the River Kings up on their 50th shot of the, of the game by a score of 7 to 1. Looking for more here. Shot. Big rebound out in front. Rydell's got it. Scores. Nope. No. They were off. They had their hands in the air. I thought they were. Ah, I got to get my eyes checked. Sorry. <laughs> uh. Puck set out to the River Kings end of the ice now with one minute remaining in the game. And. Hopefully no more missed calls by me as Redman heads to the net. Karras in there now. Put a little pressure on, on the four check. Good job there. Max Moore out there helping out as well. Steel County tries to move that up and out. And Karras denies that. Now Steel County sends it off the boards, off the glass, down the River King's end, offsides. Icing. Icing. With 42.6 seconds to go. No, I think we're off sides as well. Don't have to go as far down the other end, so. I was right the first time. Yeah. Jeez. All right, so we'll win the face off there, and as we get ready to skate that back up ice, time to start thinking about the three stars of the game, right? Oh. Karras has that now. River Kings players are encouraging the opposing players to go in a different direction as they Trying to skate that puck back behind her net. Joe Blair toppled over. So. And physical play picking up. I'm not sure that Max Moore is the guy I would want to uh, I would want to try and take out. He, uh, he got up with a full head of steam and was looking to meet and greet, but. And now we have an icing. Cooler heads prevail. Yeah. Mac Moore reminded the visiting squad just what the score is. Right, that's right. He's uh Yeah. They, they cheered him getting knocked down. He cheered seven times tonight. So seems more than fair. Just giving a message from the Wisconsin Rapids area. All right, under five seconds to go, and that's gonna do it, folks. We're gonna hang around for the three stars of the game. As your Wisconsin Rapid River Kings take the, the matchup tonight over the Steel County Blades, score of seven to one. We hope that you've enjoyed everything tonight so far. We'll get ready for our three stars. Be interested to see who they pick tonight. I think maybe Mr. Newcomer might have to be one of them with a couple goals there. Yeah, he yeah. played a really, really good game. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would say uh, I would say McNair. Yeah, with the 25 shots, he hasn't gotten that much work for a long time here. So played a great game. Really, no weaknesses anywhere on the lineup tonight. So. Yeah. So we'll get ready for the uh, post-game ceremonies here as the Wisconsin Rapid River Kings come to center ice. Kyle McNair leading them in the greet and the thanking of the fans. And as they've done now, head down towards the balcony level to thank the fans here who have come out to support them tonight. So 
so. So the cowboy hats are out, the Polito's t-shirts are all prepped. We're looking to see uh, who will be the three stars that get the good fortune of distributing those. I think it's gonna be Mr. Harchie, Mr. Newcomer, and Mr. McNair, possibly. And Newcomer had a couple of beauties tonight. Harchie played well. Bottles had a great game. Max Moore got that going. McNair played well in net. I think the only one that had a bad game tonight was me. Mm. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's star players of the game. Ah, here we go. Lodito's Pizza. Tonight's third star player of the game comes to us from Mitch Harlan, Wisconsin, number nine, Frank Newcomer. And he played a solid game all around, defensively, offensively. So. Yeah, he's had a great season. So, number nine, Newcomer, third star of the game. Our second star you know, it's going to be interesting to see who comes back to this team next year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Luke Hartgee makes a long skate over to the corner here. Some of the kids standing around waiting for that Polito's T-shirt, and he just made some, uh, some little girl's night there as he hands that off to her. And a first star of the game. Number 31, Kyle McNair. And Kyle will hand out over to Glass, greeting the one of the local fans. So we uh, we had a great night at the rink. It was a very entertaining game. Looking forward to doing it with you again tomorrow night there, Jeff. All right, Paul. So Wisconsin Rapid River Kings win 7-1. to one. We'll see you back here tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Tomorrow so. night at 7 o'clock. So on behalf of Wisconsin Rapids Community Media, Matt Fillmore, Art Nagevsik, Jeff Conklin, Mark Lochner, I'm Paul Kennedy. I wanted to thank you for watching the game tonight on Wisconsin Rapids Community Media and Hockey TV. Have a great night, folks.